Kenya's wealthiest families have long exerted influence over the country's politics and economy. Dynasties like the Kenyattas and Moyes have amassed vast fortunes, owning sprawling estates, hotels, and media conglomerates. These families wield significant power, often using their wealth to sway elections and protect their business interests. While a few have faced corruption scandals, they remain firmly entrenched at the top of Kenyan society, a testament to the enduring nature of the country's elite class. The Patel family. At the heart of this story of generational wealth and business savvy is the Patel family. The driving force behind their impressive financial journey is Balaji Patel, the strategic mind steering the family's ventures. Patel's keen eye for lucrative opportunities has led the family to diversify their investments, branching out from their initial success in the safari industry into sectors such as manufacturing, banking, insurance, and telecommunications. This calculated diversification has enabled the Patel family to weather economic storms and secure their financial stability for years to come. Balaji Patel's roles in companies like Pan-Africa Insurance, Barclays Bank Kenya, and Safaricom have allowed him to actively shape the corporate landscape, rather than merely observing from the sidelines. With a family net worth exceeding $30 million, Balaji Patel stands as a testament to the power of foresight, perseverance, and a relentless pursuit of growth, ensuring the Patel name remains synonymous with success in the world of family enterprises. The Macharia family. The Macharia family controls a significant portion of the media empire in Kenya. At the helm of this family's success is Samuel Kamal Macharia, or SK Macharia, a media mogul who has elevated his family to the ranks of media royalty in the country. Born in 1942 in the modest Ende village of Moranga County, S.K. Macharia faced his fair share of hurdles, but his determination and clear vision transformed every challenge into a stepping stone. Today, S.K. Macharia is not only a business titan, but also the proud head of a close-knit family. His sharp business acumen has led him to branch out into various industries, including agriculture, real estate, transport, and banking, in addition to his media empire. With a net worth of $150 million, SK Macharia is setting up a foundation for future generations, ensuring that the Macharia name remains a powerful force in Kenya's business landscape, the Mangi family. The Mangi family story is one of a flourishing family business empire that has been transforming the landscape in Kenya. James Mangi, the group managing director and CEO of Equity Group Holdings Limited, is more than just a corporate leader. He is a visionary with a deep sense of purpose. What sets the Mangi family apart is not only their business acumen, but their deep-rooted commitment to community upliftment and education. Under James Mangi's leadership, Equity Group Holdings PLC has revolutionized the banking sector in Kenya by making financial services accessible to everyone. This democratization of banking has not gone unnoticed, with Mangi being recognized among the top 20 most influential Africans and ranked as one of the top 50 thought leaders in developing markets by the Financial Times. Beyond the business world, the Mangi family is actively engaged in shaping Kenya's future. James Mangi's role as chair of the Kenya Vision 2030 Delivery Board and his leadership during the COVID-19 pandemic as the head of the health committee for the Kenya COVID-19 Emergency Response Fund have demonstrated their commitment to the nation's development. With a net worth surpassing $170 million, the Mangi family is not just wealthy, they are building a legacy defined by financial success and positive impact on their community, the Odinga family. The Odinga family has become synonymous with Kenya's fight for democracy and progressive change. At the forefront of this legacy is Raila Odinga, widely known as Baba or the former prime minister who has long been the face of the family's political endeavors. Since 2013, Raila has firmly established himself as a key player in Kenya's political scene, serving as the opposition leader and a champion for the people's rights. The Odinga family story is not just about political influence, it is also about significant economic strength. With a net worth of $250 million, the Odinga family's legacy is firmly etched in the country's history, blending both power and purpose in equal measure. Their belief in social democracy and alignment with left-wing politics have consistently pushed for different forms of governance, 
showcasing their commitment to fostering a more inclusive and balanced political landscape in Kenya and beyond. The Munga Family. The Munga Family story is one of vision, perseverance, and family unity that has transformed a humble beginning into a financial powerhouse in Kenya. The journey began in 1984 when Peter Munga, armed with just $100, founded the Equity Building Society, EBS, in his hometown of Kangema. The turning point came in 1993 when James Mangi, a young talent within the family, stepped in as the chairman and CEO of EBS, gradually reversing the company's fortunes. Under the Munga family's guidance, EBS was transformed into the Equity Bank Group, making its debut on the Nairobi Stock Exchange in 2006, just two years after a successful rebranding. The family's ambition didn't stop at Kenya's borders as the Equity Bank Group expanded its operations across East Africa, establishing subsidiaries in Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, and South Sudan. The Munga family's story is a testament to the power of vision, perseverance, and family unity. With a net worth of over $280 million, the Munga family has risen to prominence as one of Kenya's wealthiest families, creating a business legacy that will stand the test of time. The Shaw Family The Shaw family's journey is a tale of grit, entrepreneurial spirit, and triumph against the odds in Kenya's business world. Atul Shah's story began in 1961 in Nandi Hills, Kenya, but his family's roots can be traced back to 1947 when his father, Mangal Al Shah, immigrated from India and set up a small retail clothing store in the bustling Nakuru open-air market. Despite facing numerous hurdles, the Shah family refused to be defeated. After declaring bankruptcy in 1976, Atul and his brother Vimal decided to start anew, launching a clothing store named FMATS, where they sold handmade bed linens and other goods. Their relentless effort and capitalization on the economic boom from East Africa's coffee surge in the late 1970s allowed them to settle their debts by 1978. The major turning point came when their uncle decided to move to the UK, and Atul and Vimal seized the opportunity to take over Nakuru Mattress, marking a new era for the family. Under Atul's leadership as the managing director and CEO, Nakuru Mat Holdings has grown from a modest family store to one of East Africa's largest private retail chains, spanning Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, and Rwanda. Today, the Shah family's net worth exceeds $290 million, placing them among Kenya's wealthiest families. The Chandaria Family The Chandaria family's story is one of entrepreneurial innovation in Kenya, with Manu Chandaria as the guiding force behind the Comcraft Group of Companies, a global player in the production of steel, plastic, and aluminum products. The family's business roots can be traced back to 1915, when Manu's father, a businessman from Saurashtra, Gujarat, set foot in Kenya and started a humble grocery store on Nairobi's lively Biashara Street. Under Manu's leadership, what started as a small grocery business grew to encompass not just Kenya, but expanded across 50 countries. The Chandaria family believes in using profit as a tool for growth and development rather than an end goal, a principle that Manu emphasized in a conversation with the Harvard Business School's Creating Emerging Markets project. Today, with a combined net worth of around $270 million, the Chandaria family is an influential player in multiple sectors beyond their well-known Comcraft group with significant investments in real estate and business operations in over 11 African countries. Their journey is a testament to their vision and commitment to growth, leaving a lasting impact on Kenya's business environment and far beyond. The Karubi Family The Karubi family story is one of dynamic entrepreneurship and influence in East Africa's business world. Led by the late Chris Karubi, a prominent industrialist, entrepreneur, and philanthropist, the family built a reputation for its bold ventures and impactful investments. Central to the Karubi family's business empire was Centum Investment Company Limited, where Chris Karubi played a pivotal role as chairman and was its largest individual shareholder. With a net worth surpassing $300 million, the family's wealth spanned across real estate, media, finance, and more. They were known as the leading mall proprietors in East Africa, 
with the iconic Two Rivers Mall standing as a testament to their influence in the real estate sector. With Chris Karubi's passing, the torch has been passed to his children, Fiona and Robert Karubi, who continue to drive the family's legacy forward, embodying the same entrepreneurial spirit and commitment to excellence that defined their father's career. The Karubi name remains a symbol of business success, innovation, and a commitment to philanthropy that goes beyond East Africa's borders. The Kenyatta family. No discussion about the wealthiest families in Kenya is complete without mentioning the Kenyattas, a name deeply rooted in the nation's history and power. At the forefront of this influential family is Uhuru Kenyatta, a key player in both Kenya's business and political arenas, who grew up surrounded by affluence and influence. The Kenyatta family's impact extends well beyond the realm of politics, with significant investments across various industries. Before stepping into the presidency, Uhuru Kenyatta was instrumental in managing and expanding the family's wealth while also establishing his own ventures. Their business portfolio is extensive, featuring a mix of domestic and international interests, as highlighted by their offshore investments that came to light in the Pandora Papers leak. Despite the controversies that have surrounded their financial activities, the Kenyatta family remains one of the wealthiest in Kenya, boasting an estimated net worth of $500 million. Their story is a powerful example of how family legacy and entrepreneurial drive can shape a nation's economic landscape, leaving a lasting influence on Kenya for generations to come. The Morali Family The Morali family's entrepreneurial drive has significantly reshaped Kenya's business landscape. The late Nishad Morali, a pioneering businessman and industrialist, was the family's visionary leader, leaving a remarkable legacy across multiple industries. Nashad's journey began with the creation of Vivendi, a major French media group, and Canel, one of Kenya's leading mobile service providers. Under his guidance, the Morali family transformed the Samir Group into a powerhouse conglomerate with diverse interests, including finance, real estate, IT, agriculture, and construction. After Nashad's passing, his children, Yasmin and Samir Morali, took up the mantle, ensuring that the family's enterprises continue to thrive and evolve. Today, the Morali family's fortune remains robust, a testament to their dedication to excellence and innovation in business. Their story reflects a legacy of success that continues to shape Kenya's economic environment. The Bwat Dynasty. The name Bwat is synonymous with wealth, power, and influence. The late Nicholas Bwat, the patriarch of this remarkable family, has left an indelible mark on the Kenyan business landscape, and his legacy continues to shape the fortunes of his descendants. Bwat's entrepreneurial journey began with the establishment of the iconic Yaya Center, a premier shopping destination that has become a mainstay of Nairobi's retail landscape. This ambitious project, undertaken with vision and foresight, laid the foundation for the family's ever-expanding business interests. But Boat's ambitions did not stop there. He ventured into the aviation industry, founding Air Kenya, and diversified his portfolio to encompass a wide range of ventures, each contributing to the family's remarkable wealth. According to Nigerian Venture Magazine, Boat's personal fortune was estimated at a staggering $1 billion, cementing his status as one of Kenya's and Africa's wealthiest individuals. While Boat's business dealings were often shrouded in secrecy, the family's remarkable success speaks for itself. Their ability to navigate the complexities of the Kenyan market and capitalize on emerging opportunities has been nothing short of impressive. Now, with Boat's passing, the mantle of leadership has been passed on to his seven children, who are poised to carry on their father's legacy and further solidify the family's position as a dominant force in the Kenyan economy. The Boat family's story is one of resilience, entrepreneurial spirit, and a relentless pursuit of growth. Their ability to adapt to changing market conditions and seize new opportunities has been a key driver of their success, allowing them to weather economic storms and emerge stronger than ever. Yet the family's rise to prominence has not been without controversy. Whispers of shady dealings and behind-the-scenes maneuvering have long been a part of the Boat family narrative, with questions surrounding the source of their wealth and the methods used to expand their empire. As Kenya continues to grapple with issues of transparency and accountability, 
the Boat family story serves as a microcosm of the broader challenges faced by the country's elite class. The family's ability to navigate these murky waters and maintain their dominance in the business world is a testament to their resilience and the entrenched nature of Kenya's power structures. Moving forward, the Boat family will undoubtedly continue to shape the economic and social landscape of Kenya. Their influence and wealth will continue to be a subject of fascination and scrutiny as the nation grapples with the complexities of wealth and power in the 21st century. The Moy family. The Moy family's wealth and influence in Kenya are the stuff of legends. Headed by the late president, Daniel Toroitich Arap Moy, who ruled the country for over two decades, this political dynasty has amassed an estimated fortune of $3 billion, making them one of the wealthiest families in the East African nation. The Moy family's vast wealth is the result of decades of strategic investments in business dealings across a diverse range of industries. From real estate and hotels to media conglomerates and more, the family's tentacles have spread far and wide, cementing their status as financial powerhouses in Kenya. However, the path to this incredible wealth has not been without controversy. In 2006, the International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes uncovered allegations that Moi had accepted a $2 million bribe from Pakistani businessman Ali Nasha in exchange for granting a monopoly on duty-free shops at Kenyan airports. This revelation shed light on the questionable methods the family may have employed to expand their business empire. Furthermore, a 2007 WikiLeaks disclosure painted an even more complex picture of the Moy family's financial dealings. The leaks revealed a web of shell companies and secret trusts used by Moy's associates to move hundreds of millions of pounds through nearly 30 countries, raising questions about the legality and transparency of their operations. The Goldenberg scandal of the 1990s, which involved subsidized gold exports and resulted in massive financial losses for Kenya, over 10% of its annual GDP, also tainted the Moy family's legacy. While the extent of their involvement in this scandal remains a subject of debate, the mere association with such a high-profile case of corruption has done little to bolster the family's reputation. Despite these controversies, the Moy family's wealth and influence continue to be a dominant force in Kenyan society. Their political connections and business acumen have enabled them to maintain their position among the country's financial elite, even as their practices have come under increased scrutiny. The story of the Moa family's rise to power and wealth is a complex one, intertwined with the turbulent political history of Kenya. It serves as a testament to the enduring nature of the country's elite class and the challenges faced in addressing issues of transparency and accountability in the highest echelons of power. As Kenya continues to grapple with its legacy of corruption and inequality, the Moy family's fortunes remain a symbol of the work that lies ahead in creating a more equitable and just society. Thanks for watching this till the end. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.